What is up YouTube, IDM here, and welcome back to another video. And I'm going to hope that this is a very useful video for anybody in the world that wants a jailbreak. They want their iPhone jailbroken or their iPad. Hopefully this video is useful. So the most common question is when is the next jailbreak going to come out? Also referred to as when ETA. When is Uncover going to be updated again? Now it's pretty hard to predict this because that's all you can do because nobody, nobody knows when the next jailbreak is going to come out. The developers of these jailbreaks, so the Uncover team, uh, they do not tease their jailbreak. They do, they do not mention they're working on a jailbreak. They do not hint that a jailbreak is going to be released by them. They will literally just update their website one day and the jailbreak is there. And then they tweet, our new jailbreak is out. And then everyone catches wind. I make a video on how it works and how to use it. And then the rest is history. That's pretty much how it works. So basically we don't ever know when a new jailbreak is going to come out, but we can make predictions and hopefully this, like I said, this video helps you understand. Um, I've also noticed a trend from year to year that I think there's guaranteed versions you could be on that would get a jailbreak. So if you're really desperate for a jailbreak, um, there, there's guaranteed versions you can be on. And I'll talk about that here in a minute. But generally speaking, the best thing for, you know, a YouTuber like me to say to the general scene is to stay on the lowest version of iOS possible because that's going to give you the best chances of getting a jailbreak. And that's generally, it, it, it pretty much is the best advice we can give to people. But um, I've noticed a trend from year to year. I've been doing this for many years now. I have pretty much used almost every jailbreak utility there ever has been from Red Snow to Absinthe to Pangu uh, to Yalu to Mock Portal to freaking everything. So there is a trend. Now, if you guys aren't following me on Twitter, I'd recommend to do so. Link is in the description. I tweeted this here a little bit ago and it inspired me to make this video for all the people that want to know when a new jailbreak is going to come out. Now, if we're talking right now uh, for iOS 15, as you can see, for the ones asking when a new jailbreak will come out, here's the history. The first jailbreak for iOS 12 was Uncover, and that was released on February 22nd. iOS 13, again Uncover, on February 15th. iOS 14, again Uncover, released on February 27th. So that is our trend. Now, if this trend continues, which I think it probably would, because this is the way it's been for the past three years, we could expect iOS 15 to receive its first jailbreak mid to late February, so in about a month. So I think we might have about a month and we should have a new jailbreak out. Now, this jailbreak is not gonna support all the versions of iOS 15 that are out right now. It's gonna be limited to certain versions. And I think that's where people really start to get confused and they just kind of don't know what to do. I'm sure there's just an absolute boatload of people that get interested in jailbreaking and then realize that it's not exactly easy to do and they probably just lose interest in it and move on. And that's pretty unfortunate. Um, and that's just the way jailbreaking has become. iOS has become more secure, so it's harder to achieve a jailbreak. But, if you want a jailbreak, I think that you can actually, I think you can guarantee yourself a jailbreak every single year. And here is how you can do that. And hopefully this part of the video people appreciate, but I think you can guarantee yourself a jailbreak once per year. Guaranteed. Now for someone like me that has done tons and tons of jailbreak tutorials, um, I mean, I've been doing these jailbreak tutorials since like 2011. I've pretty much used almost every single jailbreak there is. And I have noticed a trend from year to year on every single version of iOS. Now, before we get into the details, I'm going to talk about my other iPhone, my iPhone 12 Pro Max. This is my, my daily iPhone. And I initially 
wasn't going to jailbreak it because I was just using it for my stock iOS stuff that I like to cover here on the channel, how to customize stock iOS, but I've gotten to the point where I want a daily jailbroken iPhone again. And I guaranteed myself, at least I think I guaranteed myself, a jailbreak on this iPhone. And here's how I did it. So I updated this iPhone to iOS 15. And now it's usually frowned upon to say to update your iPhone because generally speaking, the best thing you can do is stay on an older version of iOS. That's the best advice any any of us can give you, any YouTuber or anybody that's you know a veteran in the jailbreak scene is we tell you to not update your iPhone and wait on the oldest version possible because that will probably get a jailbreak at some point. But like I said, I've noticed a trend. Now this iPhone, I updated to iOS 15.0, uh, but it was really buggy for me and my battery was terrible. So I updated it one more increment to 15.0.1 and then I stopped updating this iPhone. And the way I did that is within um, software update, I, I went in and turned off automatic updates. As you can see, iOS 15.3 is now out and I'm not going to update to it because the only way that my iPhone would update to this version is if I clicked download and install. So way back, I don't know, what was it? Like four, five months ago, four months ago, I think maybe, uh, when this was currently out for everyone, this was the newest version, I updated to it and then I stopped updating this iPhone. But I can almost guarantee to you right now, this iPhone is probably going to be jailbroken in about a month. Guaranteed. And hopefully I don't look like a fool and in a month there's still no jailbreak or, you know, even beyond two months, I would feel really stupid. I think it for sure, at least within two months, this will be jailbroken, but probably within a month it will be. Now, here's the reason why I'm saying this prediction. If you go on to the wiki for jailbreak, and I'll leave the link for this in the description if you guys want to look at it yourself. If you go from jailbreak to jailbreak, and what I'm focusing on is the first initial jailbreak for a major version, meaning the first jailbreak for iOS 12 or the very first jailbreak that came out for iOS 13. Uh, that's what I'm focusing on. There are multiple jailbreaks for multiple different versions of that iOS typically. Like for iOS 14, there's Uncover, there's Taurine, there's CheckRain, which is only for older devices, so on and so forth. And that's the way it's it's been for a while. I mean, there's been a few different jailbreaks for different versions, uh, but we're focusing on that first initial jailbreak for that first major version. And I mentioned this previously in a, in a jailbreak update video, but I wanted to kind of do a main video on it that way I can kind of reference people to this video and hopefully it ages very, very well and helps a lot of people out. But uh, if you look at all of these jailbreaks and the first major jailbreak, it always, always supports dot zero to dot one. So like iOS 12, if we jump to iOS 12, it's probably down here a little bit. There's iOS, so iOS 12. The first jailbreak to come out for that was Uncover and it supported 12.0 to 12.1.2. So in that range, 12.0 to 12.1 is supported. And those versions are jailbroken every single year, guaranteed. So what does this mean? It means you can plan to target a firmware to guarantee yourself a jailbreak every year and those versions are dot zero up to dot one. That's what I've done on my 12 Pro Max. It is on 15.0.1 and I can guarantee it's gonna get a jailbreak because it's in that range. That range is the same every year. Now, sometimes it expands and it's for a little bit more than just, you know, 0.0 to 0.1. It goes to like, you know, 15 or 14.0 to 14.3 for an example, but that 14.0 to 14.1 is still in there and it is every single year. So if you are un unsuccessful with getting a jailbreak, you know, during 2021, once we get closer to iOS 16, if you want to seal the deal on one of your iPhones to get a jailbreak, I recommend to update your iPhone to 16.0 to 16.1, somewhere in between. I wouldn't go higher than that. 
I wouldn't do like 16.1.1. I would stay 16.0 to 16.1. And I bet you, you will get a jailbreak for that iPhone. That's my prediction. So hopefully this video helps you guys out. Like I said, the best rule of thumb is to always stay on the lowest version possible. But if you're unsuccessful doing that, try to target dot zero to dot one because it'll probably get a jailbreak. If this video helped you guys out, throw a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot here at the channel. If you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been IDM and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.